to introduce you the forest of Sundarban in Bangladesh, where I came face to face with the Royal Bengal man-eater tiger when I was eight years old. Before I tell you the story, I want to tell you about the forest lively life till this day consists of wild animals, vegetation, farming, creeks, rivers, and the villages all surviving together as a forest community. The Bay of Bengal is a part of Indian Ocean sharing the coast of India, Burma, and Bangladesh. There are many creeks and rivers found in the south of Bangladesh and in some part of India. Flowing through the forest of Sundarban and ending into the bay. This part of Bangladesh is known for recurring natural disaster causing flooding when hurricanes and wind storms come into the Indian Ocean, the water flows into creeks and rivers in the dense forest of Sundarban, eventually becoming the source for farming, fishing, trade, and for hunting. Trade is done through boats, and steamers in these rivers and creeks from the forest to the city shore. The livelihood of the human community in and surrounding areas of the forest depends on it. Trade is done for jute, lumber and wood to make buildings, bridges and tools. There are sundari trees in the forest which is well known for its very refreshing fragrance. Also making an attractive place for the beehives producing high quality of honey. In addition to frequent flooding and rainstorms, the villagers, woodcutters, fishermen, farmers, honey collectors, both men and women, face danger in working in this forest, such as elephants, monkeys, lagoons, crocodiles, and especially the man-eater tigers. The tiger can camouflage itself with its black and orange stripes in the forest like this.
recorded by my father in his book, Man Eaters of Sundarban, there was a tiger who jumped 10 feet across the creek and grabbed the fisherman for his prey. On the other end of the creek, he dragged that human being into the forest and vanished. And my father followed his pug mark to track him. In an other incident, my father Tahawar Ali Khan was tracking the tiger. But in the picture, as you can see, the pug marks that man eater tiger was following him. So my father was hunting while being hunted. Nowadays, the dogs are trained to encounter these man eater tigers because of their sharp canine teeth. Tigers have many reasons to attack humans. When there is a natural disaster, the wind storms and the, and the hurricanes, the fishermen, the woodcutters, they die due to flooding. Tigers taste them, they taste their blood, they eat their flesh, they become man eater. Number two, when they become old and sick, they don't get any prey, so it is easy for them to hunt the human being. Another reason why they become man eater is that when they are disturbed while they are eating their prey, especially they hunt the women who go in the forest to collect the worms. Tigers are not man-eaters. Charles McDougall, who studied the tiger and its nature in the forest of Nepal, he said that the tigers only when they are wounded or they want to defend themselves, then they attack humans if they are disturbed. Otherwise, the normal tiger is a shy animal. White tigers are also spotted in the forest of Sundarban in Bangladesh. My father was hired by the government of Bangladesh to protect the human community working in the forest and my father became expert in tracking these man-eater tigers because of his hunting, which he was doing since his childhood. Dane Hucklebridge wrote in his book, No Beast Fears, a true story about the tiger of Champavat in India, that he is the deadliest animal in the history. In my upcoming story, you are going to see how I went out on an adventure during my nap time. It was really a real thrilling situation when I met a man-eater tiger few feet away from me. Subscribe to my channel to find out how the eight-year-old me survived meeting a hungry tiger.